Th- that should be the title of tonight's episode. We're setting the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on how many drinks Kent has. He might be sitting at the bar. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 156 for Thursday, the 4th of January, 2018. This is the show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent, and of course you can see it right now if you're watching on video and if you're not, you're missing out. It's Tay Allen! Hey, boys! (laughs) Oh man, it's been a long year, we've missed you. I know, and I've been so gone, but we'll talk about all of it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I've been got really domestic. <laughs> <laughs> we, it was we... a mistake. <laughs> oh, no, jeez. <laughs> um, hey, hey, Ken, uh, I think we just took three left turns. I think that means we're going straight now, right? Uh, I hope so. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> How you been, man? <laughs> oh, dude, still sick. I, my, my house is just like a, a just poisonous air of just viral nastiness. I'm uh, viral. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that's everybody. Like everybody I talk to, no matter it, in real life or online, like everybody's sick. I I don't know what's going on. Is this uh is this one of those years that the flu vaccine like missed? Oh yeah, yeah. That was in the news actually. Like only like like twelve percent of people are effectively covered or something. Oh, that's. I mean, that's twelve percent more than what it seems like around here. Right. Because yeah, holy crap. Yeah. I should make a sneeze song. <laughs> to commemorate that other 82, 88%. 80, well, it, it's, it's 82, but six of them are unsure. They're, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, eight, vaccinated, eight, eight. unvaccinated, and questionable. So you got the VU, VUQ community, you know, you got to gotta watch <laughs> out for it. That was so <laughs> wrong. That was so bad. It's a new year. I'm looking at things in a positive light. Um, how have you been, Tay? It has been a, 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 a crazy year. Um, last time we heard from you, you were, you were trying to get on the amazing race. Uh, <laughs> you, you gave me a cameo in your, uh, in your, in your little video there. Kent missed out, but he should miss out on all videos. And, uh, that, uh, how'd that go? Um, well, I am no longer with the gentleman that I was trying to get on the amazing race with. Um, this but, is recent. But, but, wait, wait, wait. Back. We, did you make it on the Amazing Race? <laughs> no, oh. uh, probably because the producers could tell that we couldn't make it in real life. <laughs> oh man, I was I, I was gonna, I was gonna go there, but um, I'm glad you went there for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, now, okay. Geez. Elephant has a single tag. Single <laughs> tag. Here she is. Well, we we saw you at South by, and you were like. You were you were done with with the single like you were you were there you were set it was a match pair like you, you were bonded what what happened can can you can you get into that or is that like you know the painful yeah, 2017 yeah, that needs to go away yeah. Oh no no of course I appreciate it that's what we do this is a love bonding experience uh, <laughs> This is a safe place <laughs> So we were crazy in love which mm-hmm. everyone knew from my social media profiles and I was like pretty sure I was no longer single Tay either. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you guys experienced, but like we were like a year and a half in, and you know, I think both of us were just questioning a little bit, like, is this the one? Mm. Um, and I, I have been like, I'll be really honest, because like I'm all about like sharing and being relatable, and you know, maybe it inspires somebody else. But the relationship for me, like, it was my first like real intensive relationship. And, um, I went to like personal therapy to try to be like a really kick-ass girlfriend for him and like housewife it up and was thinking about settling down. Um, but I guess he didn't want that. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> okay. So we, we parted ways. Um, but you know, I'm like very, very, like everything happens for a reason. You're, and you're, you're- I, Honestly, with him, like, even though I loved him so much, um, there was always an itch. Like, I didn't feel like I was done. And mm. I went through, like, a bout of depression kind of early on in the relationship, like, trying to figure out what is Tay going to be? Like, 
me as a woman now, like, how am I going to continue making music? And I bought a fucking harp, which is awesome. (laughs) And like started doing this like Enya Evanescence stuff. And like, I was kind of playing with all that, but trying to figure out like, as like a woman and maybe potentially a wife, how do I continue to have my artistry and like my fans and my friends and my nerd people? Like, how is this all going to kind of work together? Um, And I know I've been kind of gone, but I've kind of been trying to figure that out too. Um, So this is like not really an answer. I'm just kind of musing, but I guess this gives me the freedom now to soar and to really like, like finish what I started, you know, mm. like yeah. I have another song in me that I've written like a Tay Allen song. And I have these like cool, weird, like very like be present one with yourself music, like talking about like life and spirituality that are like totally random. And everyone's going to freak out when they hear them. going to be like, what the fuck? But I love <laughs> it all. Like it's all going to happen. I have like five names. And we're just gonna go with it. Yeah. Um, nice. Right on. You 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 did gloss over something that I just I I have to know because yeah. it's it's you and I have expectations. Um, what was the most awkward part of the breakup? <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. I'm gonna <laughs> cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, that's a disclaimer too. I'm two weeks out from the breakup, and we were together for a year and a half. So if I cry, you guys should have to hold me Whoa. and. And just love me. Well, that that that's that's what we'll do anyway. But great. And then yeah, if that happens, we will we will hug you and 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 comfort you, and then we'll move right on into the next. Wait, subject. wait, are 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 you you're saying you're 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 only two weeks out from the breakup? Mm-hmm. But that that's like right before Christmas. Yeah. That's that's awkward enough as it is because even in oh, a they- bad relationship, you kind of just hold on through the holiday, you know. Like you hit that lull between New Year's and and, and Valentine's, and you're kind of like, okay, well, got to hit, got got to got to make this uh, official breakup now before the before Valentine's comes along, and you got to kind of re-cement things, you know. So, oh, good wow. to know how guys think. That is horrible, but noted. <laughs> <laughs> Well, got it. there's there there are there are levels of expectation, and nobody's like, oh my god, he broke up with you on President's Day, you know? No, <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody's no. There's no expectation there, but like right before Thanksgiving, oh, he must not have wanted to take you to the family. Uh, Christmas, oh, you just must have been too expensive. New Year's, oh, he wanted to start something fresh with someone else, you know? Uh, and then you get Valentine's, and like Valentine's is like sealing it for six months, like that's. <laughs> yeah, you, you go into Valentine's. That's an investment. Yeah, you go into Valentine's with somebody, and you're kind of committed at least at least through Memorial Day. You know, you got to <laughs> at least at least take him to the summer. <laughs> this is amazing. This is terrifying. Every woman needs to listen to this. This is so funny. Um, now this well, is coming from me, and I was never good with women, so <laughs> this, this might be why yeah. I was never good with them. <laughs> I mean, what you just said about Memorial Day is a revelation. Let's be honest. <laughs> women everywhere have been waiting to hear that. Um, okay, perfect. So that the Christmas is awkwardness. Maybe we need to send the chat realm army after him. Mm. Open to it. <laughs> Oh, how many how many how many people we got in uh, in chat right now that can uh, that can maybe harass somebody? Oh, I don't I don't know if I want to do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's 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 not go there. At least uh, not yet. Hey, in, 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 instead, let's let's talk about bed rest. Can we talk about bed rest? Um, sure, I like bed rest. I was actually on bed rest yesterday. I decided to take a day off because I was just too congested and. Ugh. Um. Aww. Bed rest can suck my butt. <sighs> Because you, you do get weird, like muscle tightness in your ass. Uh, it, yeah, that, there, that can happen. It's it's not yeah. just that. It's also the crick in the neck because uh, so I'm I'm on I'm on like this this pretty heavy duty bed rest. Like this is my one hour to be up right now. I'm, I'm spending with you guys um, where my back is the, my problem, right? Because I've had two surgeries on my back now in two months. Um, so I'm supposed to be laying as, as as much pressure on my lower back as possible to keep the swelling down, and everything else, and and kind of keep it going. And then you got to like do the little crink, like crink your toes exercises, so you don't get blood clots in your legs and stuff. And and you you're trying to lay flat. So what do you do? You put a pillow right here so you can crick your head, so you can watch Netflix or whatever you know. 
and you're trying to play some PlayStation, but then like my belly's in the way because I can't control the. So I got to put the controller up here, and I'm like trying to try to kill people in in the, in the stupid video game thing. Like bed rest can suck my butt, and then you get up and like I had to drive today. It was a brief drive. I had to go pick up my niece because weather got bad, and my my wife couldn't go pick her up. That drive, like, have you ever given yourself car sickness? I didn't know you could because isn't car sickness when someone else is in control and you don't know what's going on? Right. That's what I thought, too, until I got about halfway there and I was like. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here to tell you bed rest can suck my butt. because My equilibrium's off. Um, I, I'm not killing people as efficiently in, in division <laughs> as I should be. Um, well, I have that. <laughs> I'm telling you. you. Can't. Telling you. Oh, and now all my bandages are off, so it's just like raw stitches on my back. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I know. This is oh, all I like, bet that this, feels this nice. Like, Honey, I, I had no idea that you were going through all this. I'm so sorry. Uh, th- so the first surgery, they actually just glued. They like did this skin glue thing on my back, so it's like there's no stitches or anything else. The second one, I have like this professional like leather. Like, you know when they sew leather and it's like this perfectly spaced stitch going down like a baseball glove or whatever? That's what's mm. going down my back right now, and it's the coolest <gasps> looking thing ever. But it does not feel great. <laughs> oh my god! Like, is, is it like tearing your skin? I'm so glad you think it looks cool. <laughs> you should get it immortalized in a tattoo, Amos. I'm I, I'm gonna have it immortalized in a scar. I think that's good enough. I don't need. I don't. I don't think I necessarily need to get it colored. Just I can, color it in. No, I, no. I can just tan, and the scar will like shine bright. You know, because. <laughs> oh my god! That's just get so that. Funny. Just get that that uh, that that photosensitive stuff like what like what crunchy has on her back oh yeah 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 she she can have a dick and i can have an ass like it'd be great it'd be <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Maybe a match try. set yeah um so yeah there's oh there's God. that uh however i did manage to watch citizen kane this morning for the first time ever have you seen the movie citizen kane have either of you seen it i have not actually orson wells first movie from 1941 I haven't. I've heard good things. Um, I don't know how I feel about it because I watched it because Current Geek. It was the movie of the, of the of Current Geek. You know, they went through and reviewed it, and I was like, you know what? I didn't watch Casablanca. I have no desire to watch Casablanca. <laughs> but I'd seen the, uh, Godfather, and that, that's a great movie. So let me go ahead and make sure I watch Citizen Kane because I, I don't know anything about it. Like I knew nothing. I didn't know the twist. I didn't know. I knew it was Orson Welles, and that was it. And that should have been enough for me to be like, okay, well I'll go fucking watch it. You know. I gotta say, man, it's uh, I, it's a different movie, and especially for 1941, like there are theatrical elements, and they discuss this in the episode, by the way. But there are theatrical elements to it that shouldn't go together, but mm. g- but go together very well. And if there are certain points where it's like, oh my god, this is the worst audio ever. You know, or did they record this in an echo chamber with like 15 <laughs> mics and put them all in reverb or something? You know, but the way oh, that yeah. Yeah, the way that it just it brings a certain feeling to those scenes and, and you know it's like a whole bunch of old men arguing about something and <laughs> it's just this echoey and but it it, it it I don't know. I thought it was great. I'm not going to watch it again. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's it's renowned as like one of the greatest movies ever made. Right. Um and mm-hmm. yeah, it's a one watcher. It's a it's a one time <laughs> watcher. It's Unlike Mass Text uh, well, I- of course. Well, yeah, you just put that on repeat. Yeah, that's that's actually. That's... I, I keep having to mute that because it's in the background, just playing like just constantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. Okay. I hear it everywhere I go. <laughs> that's how you heal my broken heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's just playing mass text. On so repeat. here's here's the thing about mass text, though. Okay, so it might be, uh, you know, uh, there might be a period of time I go without listening to it, but every time someone asks me, "Hey, did you get my text I sent to the whole group?" I'm sitting there thinking, I didn't get your mass text. Yes, like, I'm in your contact. Yeah. <laughs> like, For God's sake. Like, like and it, and it's so much more relevant now because people shoot out to like Facebook groups and like I still didn't get the shit. Now, now, now I have I have Facebook fighting the mass text. Like this is bullshit. I know. I need to send mass text to fucking Mark Zuckerberg. Oh. That's what we need to do, chat Ralph. There you go. And uh and and what's his name on Twitter? Because I don't get half the damn tweets I'm supposed to get either. That's some bitch. Uh oh, no. oh, can I say something super quick? Oh go of course. So any of course. fans that are watching, even if it's just both of you guys, uh I um am so sorry 
about my Twitter and lack thereof, but it's not my fault. 90% of the time, my Twitter does not load on my phone, and I send things, and then I sign in, like, the next day, and it says, tweets will not reload, this did not send. So my Twitter, and I got a new phone, like, it just doesn't work. The app never works. So I want to tweet more. Um, <laughs> so I, I Snapchat everything, and I will send you back hellos mm -hmm. on Snapchat, but Twitter can suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm in All that right. uh, so, I'm in that, that so bed rest can suck our butts and Twitter can and suck Twitter our balls. can suck our balls. Yep, there you go. That's that's a sense of, a sense theme. of theme. There's a there's a theme. Yeah. Um. Now, Kent, uh, you did something that I meant to do and just haven't had a chance to because of the, of the whole net net, net tricking thing. Um, yeah. Um. Are are you just are you talking about a TV show? Perhaps? I am, I am, I am. A TV show that we've talked about for four years on, or well, nearly four years uh, on this show. I am, I am. Uh, Black Mirror, brand new season of Black Mirror is out. Six new episodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the show is amazing. We're not going to talk too much about it, especially because Amos hasn't even seen yeah, it. Yeah, no spoilers. I've only, seen I've it. only watched the first two episodes so far, and uh, it is very Black Mirror. It's pretty good. I, uh, what about you makes you like Black Mirror? Are you dark and twisted? Did you listen to Green Day? Um, <laughs> do you own a male cat? What in your heart <laughs> this weird show? Wow, wait a minute. What is it about a male cat? Like, like I mean, you, okay, for you the record, hit... I don't have a male cat. Like, but... but his female cat has a male name, so that's that kind of counts. <laughs> no, that's hipster as fuck. <laughs> Uh, Billy, you're a hipster. Yeah, he's around here somewhere. <laughs> what? What's his her name, Kent? B her her name is Billy, like spelled like like a girl's name, B I L L I E. Her, her name but her whole name is Billy Badass. Okay, I like Billy Badass. That's good. Oh man, um, I, I, my cat's name is Onion Ring. That's I, beautiful. I don't. Thank you. <laughs> Amos, uh, how many cats have you owned in your life? I don't know how I feel about having a cat named Onion Ring because it kind of <laughs> combines a few things that, like, like, I can see myself being really drunk and being like, give me that pussy, I want some Onion Ring. <laughs> like, and that just being the only thing I say for hours. No, you cannot <laughs> you my cat. <laughs> I cannot unhear that now. <laughs> See, oh, my see, God from the streets, from men like you. <laughs> yeah, uh, le lesson for everyone: keep your pussy away from Amos. Yeah, yeah, um, and you can take that however you want. It 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 <laughs> always applies. It always applies. Just um, always. Amos, Amos is allergic to pussy anyway. So, uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, that's um, that's not untrue. That's and that applies in most situations. Uh, <laughs> I miss you guys. This is fun. Can we do this all the time, just for frenzies? Um, yeah, I absolutely. mean, we're we're here every Thursday, and we have some other nights available. Like, <laughs> yeah. we can make something work. I'm sure. We'll, we'll eventually um, we'll eventually figure out why Skype hates you and in, in every computer you've ever had. Uh, and this one's brand new. I just had to download <laughs> Skype. Still didn't work. MacBook Pro. What? What? Um, I I could tell you a little something about Skype, but it's uh, let's just say, fuck Skype. Um, yeah, this is yeah, fuck everything. This is the episode. This is the episode of fuck. Everything, Are we just disgruntled cause... starting twenty eighteen? Oh no no no! I'm very I'm I'm very happy. The fact that I'm willing to say Skype's name is a, is a is a is a, a friendship <laughs> token towards Skype. I like it's I'm I'm trying to look at Skype in a new eye, so it's not like. Fuck Skype. It's like, fuck Skype. <laughs> <They're> all <laughs> cheerful. I don't oh get God. it, but I like it. <laughs> oh, man. So, but hey, you're being you know, so quiet. Are you feeling okay? My little boo boo? What? Uh, what did I just miss? Uh, I think I just blacked out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So, hey, we promised everyone an awkward episode, and um, it, it we've had several awkward moments already. 
Um, <laughs> no, but I just wanted to, I wanted to comment about uh, t- 2018. You were talking about uh, everybody being disgruntled in 2018 or being you know having a bad attitude or whatever. I want to say that we started 2018 in one of my most favorite ways that we we could have possibly done it, and that was with the New Year's Eve streamathon, where we, along with a bunch of other people, uh, streamed a bunch of different shows, and we collectively raised two thousand twenty three dollars for Donate Life America. Yeah, and it oh was so God, much fun, and amazing. it was fucking awesome. That's fantastic. And I want to thank everybody that was involved with the streaming, whether it was, you know, your face was actually on the screen or it was it was behind the scenes type stuff. Uh, people that made graphics and sound clips and uh, everything, and especially everyone that donated to the cause. Uh, thank you, everyone. It was absolutely amazing. We I think we topped last year. Um, and well, uh, moving forward, well, uh, can can we we came in fifty dollars short of last year, but we had almost twice as many donors as last year. Oh, uh, so I still call that a win. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, it was great. We cannot wait till next year's streamathon, but we might be doing a little more than just New Year's Eve this year. Right. We're going to make it more of a year-long kind of thing, like an always-on thing with the culmination of the the live stream at the end of the year. And we're going to be looking for people to uh, help out in small bits. Instead of instead of just hoping that we can get enough people to do a 27-hour live stream at the end, we're going to see if we can get everybody involved to just give a week. And... Uh, and drop a few lines on that and uh, get all of our audiences put together. And maybe I'd like to see, I'd like to hit that 10K mark each year. That'd be amazing. That would be absolutely awesome. And there's going to be details coming in, in the next few weeks. We will have something out there for people to look at and, and uh, figure out how they want to participate. It's yep. going to be pretty great. So, so yeah. stay tuned for all of that. Thank you for all that. And we are just shy of $5,000 for the three years that we've done it because last year was over two. This year was over two, and the first year was uh, about three hundred dollars or so. So we're just under five thousand dollars for the three years, and that's not too bad for a band of hooligans like us. Yeah, heck yeah! I'm yes. so proud of you guys. And that's uh, that's that's three New Years in a row that you did not have to be alone on New Year's if you if you were so inclined. Yeah, hell yeah! Uh, speaking of giving people money, <laughs> we have we have this little thing called Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery. We do, we do, and it's a little joint where you can give a fuck and give a buck and, and keep this show going and let us do things on this show that uh, we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Yeah, uh, we, we try to put things in there, uh, pre-shows, post-shows, uh, little tidbits from uh, a long time ago. We've got a video in there of me and Amos from like 20 years ago that mm. you guys might find amusing. Uh, there's all kinds of junk in there. Uh, we think it, it's it's valuable to our if, patrons and if you watch that video in there from 20 something years ago and you don't laugh at least once check your pulse <laughs> right. i need to see this I um, just, am, I page, am i a patron of you guys uh, uh i don't know maybe okay. i don't know, I don't know. but if not lose. you should be along with everyone else that's <laughs> patreon.com slash ritual misery <laughs> yes. plenty of laughs Ken at our Alan expense is an official patron of the ritual misery podcast in an hour Boom. <laughs> All right, and scene. <laughs> hey, um, speaking of which, uh, last time we talked to you, you were going out for the uh for the for the the, 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 the damn show the, the relay the show thing amazing that I, race. Yes, amazing the race. amazing race. Like I can race. never remember the name that might be why I don't want no, I don't watch it because I'm a cord cutter and, and I would only have watched it if Tay had made it. That's why I knew that anyway. Um and I told them that and I was like guys don't know the uh, i guarantee you none of my fans and friends are watching your show but they will mm. because it'll be so awkward and weird you oh, yeah. will absolutely get a new audience if we get on oh yeah we we me and kent had a fully intended to make it a show where where we would call you each week and get like a recap our own yes. little tv oh, hell yeah. interview right you guys were gonna be the official uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we like we we had it set. We were like we were looking at our show notes, like okay, well we'll fit it in right here, and you know, like, oh yeah, we we were we were serial about it. Um, 
but oh, that's so cute. I know. I don't know how they. That video was so cute. I don't know how they didn't pick us. And apparently, they started this year off going to going to Reykjavik, Iceland, because uh, Richard just told just tweeted a bunch of stuff about how he got married there, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Well, I guess the season has started, and I didn't hear from Tay, so that's that's a bummer. Uh, yeah, we got <laughs> yeah. literally no calls. <laughs> Damn, they not even a fix or play. Yeah. About that video. Yeah, that's that's, 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 a, that's that's sad. That's a shame. Um, I I enjoyed it. Thanks, but you know, I have something kind of fun and spicy. I can't remember if we talked about this last time, and this is not a plug. This is purely just like I think you guys will like love this shit. But I am in a movie that's mm. coming out, and it is a comedy about incest, mm. and it's like Arrested Development meets like super weird humor slash incest slash what's going on. Um, and I think you guys will all love that. I think so l- last really- year, last year you you were, you told us you were going to be on it, but it hadn't started filming yet. Okay, yeah, I played the super bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I it, it's nice that to see that you know. that you stretch your you stretch your horizons. That's, yeah, yeah. It's so funny since I dyed my hair dark, and I want to know what you guys think. I've gotten cast as the bitch in everything <laughs> without fail. Um, my wife uh, finds it finds it really uh, disturbing when when white people have light eyes and dar- or no dark eyes and dark hair. You have light eyes and dark hair. So maybe it's it's that little combination there that might might have it going because um, I can see that being the thing, yeah. Okay, mm. that was uh, a but, weird answer. But then again, I've I've never <laughs> I've never really been into blonde since the ex-wife, so I'd rather see you in dark hair anyway. <laughs> there we go. Yep, the blonde thing had a prostitute vibe. We all know it did. So we're moving forward. I, I, I mean, if, if you're willing to call it out like that, we can agree to it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's a little more au natural. Um, but yeah, the movie is called Call Me Brother, and it's not out yet, but the trailer's out, and they're releasing clips all the time, and it's just like, it's just so funny. Like, again, this isn't promotion. I just think y'all will actually enjoy it. But like, follow Call Me Brother on their socials and stuff, because like, even like their little like memes and things they're putting out are just hilarious because the movie is so funny. Wait, when, like, when is it actually coming out? Hilarious. I think next year. It's in editing right now. But again, if you follow the social, you'll get all the all the memes and like, yeah, my character, her name is Sydney, and oh my god, she's just like such like a stone cold, like super blunt, super crass, just like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> I uh I, I just dropped the the official trailer in the chat room, so go ahead and check that out. Cool. Vimeo dot com slash two two eight three four one two seven five, and I didn't well, even super make memorable. that up. Yeah, I didn't even make that up. That's like legit. That was that's wow. Um, that was beautiful. But that'll that was be in beautiful. the show notes as well. Um, so how was it to actually film the movie? Like, was it uh, did it meet your expectations? First of all, great question. So I did. A bunch of film work the past summer, kind of while I was in my like depression slash, am I going to be a housewife slash, what is my life phase? Um, and so I did movies and I didn't like them. Call me brothers. <laughs> great. I'm really glad I'm in that. And that was kind of fun. But in movies, you have to sit around all day. It takes so long. And like, you know, you you go and you do like one line, like, let's say, okay, I'll give you an example of being on set. You guys are the directors. Okay. And my line is, what the fuck are you wearing? You stupid. I was going to C word. Okay. <laughs> That's my line. So, you know, I go like, what the fuck are you wearing? You stupid C word. And they're like, cut, cut, cut. The lighting was terrible. We have to do it again. And then I'll do it three more times. And by then, like, I just want some string cheese, and I'm so tired. <laughs> that's the take. That's the take that actually makes it, because the lighting and everything is right. And this, and these guys were really professional. This is just every film set. It just, it's so repetitive. Or, like, the camera will be over here, and they'll be like, look here, uh, pretend there's someone there, cry at them, and do this whole monologue, but you're looking at a, a box of uh, Cheez-Its. We'll go with the cheese theme. So, like, it's just, it's so fake. So, I realized, like, I am, like, a theater, live performance. Like, that's why I love, like, the taste stuff. Like, the music videos, the live shows. 
I really love that. And mm. I love creating stuff. Um, so I will be in films if I like them and they're spicy or I really like the content or like Lord of the Rings five, like so down, make me an elf. But yeah, it wasn't as, it wasn't as exciting as yeah. I think everyone thinks it is. Um, so we now have a YOLO 420 uh, 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 link for it. It's YOLO420.com slash incest. We'll get you to the official trailer. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Oh, I have to tell them. They're going to be so happy. And that is, uh, <laughs> that, that is thank you to W. Scottis one in the chat room. Um, oh, thank you, honey. Thank you, W. Scottis <laughs> um, one. <laughs> now, you, you say you like doing the theater more, but... Mm-hmm. How, I mean, when you're not, because you're sitting there on set and you're only on set on the days when you're expected to film or there's a, there's a good chance that they're going to have you film. So there are yeah. certain days when you're sitting there and you don't even go, get to go to makeup until the very end of the day. And then it's kind of like a rush, rush, rush. We know to, we, we want to go ahead and get this scene now. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you, what did you do to occupy your time while you're sitting on there, sitting there on set? And it's like, you know, you, it's a possibility that you might film today, but you're not actually on the schedule. Totally. I drank green juice to poop because I, <laughs> I would feel better on camera if I pooped first. And I played Super Smash. Oh my God. Okay. So what if you, so, so what if you were to drink your juice and then you get called onto the set and you haven't had a chance to do your business yet? Well, I'm hoping that like, they're gonna come out right before i'm gonna feel great or i can hold it <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> so it works both ways it can build it can build up the anticipation on a certain scene if like you know like it, it works both ways <laughs> i'm um, always honest with you guys i'm sorry Dr- <laughs> drinking green juice so i can go is the best answer ever that's <laughs> <laughs> oh man i that's that's fantastic oh my god Oh my god, that's great. That is the best answer to any question we've ever asked on this show, I, I, can, I think. I can, I can just see that being being applicable in so many so many times in life. Like where where else can where else can you where could you think of like drinking green juice to help me oh, go? 100% before sex. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about building some anticipation be like, "Uh baby, no, my green juice hasn't gone yet. Uh hold on." <laughs> Oh my god. Well, like uh, if you can kind of time sex and you're like, oh well, like this person's gonna get home here, or like, or you know you're gonna have it the next morning. It's like, oh, I'll drink it the night before and wake up a little early. <laughs> <laughs> so Oh my god. We, we, that, we've, that can we've create gone some from, seriously awkward moments. We've we've gone from uh from from bad breakup timing to uh Sex advice from Tay Allen. This is this is amazing. <laughs> You're getting the it all comes down to green juice. Like to be in a relationship with the Queen of Auk. Oh geez. Like. Um. So uh, I, I, I that, that was I, I don't even know what to say. I, that now now okay, uh, can't go. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Gee, uh, you got any gum? Uh, I got some green juice. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm comfortable so much. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh! All right, I, I think this is a good time to play our game. Oh, uh, geez. do do we have a uh, do we have a song stinger or anything for the game? Um, for for this game, we we do not. Uh, but we do have Tay, and her voice is going to be the the star of this game. Now this is uh you you've done okay. a little research, right, Kent? This is uh this is not something just off the cuff. Like you you did Right, in yeah, a yeah, yeah. I did a little bit of research into this. Um uh, Tay, do you still have the show notes open by chance? Uh... if not, don't worry about it. I will I will send this over to you. Now I want you to read this. This is the name of the game. Name? Heading your way now. Okay. Oh I saw this, yeah. Oi, mate, it's tail sixes and sevens. Right. So, <laughs> this is going to be great. Did, for those that didn't understand what she just said, um, basically, we were asking is Tay confused? Maybe a little bit crazy? Mm. <gasps> How dare you? Uh, so, th- those are the secrets you don't want out, right? That you're, that you're <laughs> confused, you're maybe a little bit crazy. <laughs> 
know that all of this is real. <laughs> all right. So here, the, the, let me tell you the origin of this game. I came up with the idea for this game because a couple of weeks ago, oh, probably about a month ago, Tay tweeted something out with a link that happened to, within that link, have a link to her resume. Oh. I scoured her resume. Oh, you thought Twitter was failing you, but maybe you failed Twitter. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. What just happened? Uh -oh. well, one of the things that I learned about Tay... This is like tweet is Tayception. <laughs> one of the things I learned about Tay is that she can do the Cockney accent. Oh, my God. Oh, it's true. <laughs> I'm only a so, little it that is per that is perfect all right so you can do the accent but are you familiar with the slang in particular cockney rhyming slang oh oh this is great <laughs> this is perfect all right so i i, I wrote a little uh, little intro description to get everybody on the page of, of where we are with, with uh, what we're trying to do with this game, I want to describe what Cockney rhyming slang is so everybody can kind of play along and, and judge Tay on her performance. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, okay. so Cockney rhyming slang was popularized in London in the early 1800s. It works by replacing a common word with a two or more word phrase that rhymes with the original word. You can then drop the second word or, or the rhyming word of the phrase, thus making the sentence difficult to understand for the outsider. So an example is apples and pears. So if you were to say, I went up the apples and pears, apples and pears means stairs, because pears rhymes with stairs. But you can also just drop the rhyming word and just say, I went up the, I went up the apples. Which, and that means I, I went up the stairs. I mean, that, that's, that, this, it almost sounds like you're, you're talking Smurf talk right now. <laughs> like I smurf the smurf on the smurf with smurf. Yes, right. and so, I thought I knew all the smurf dialects, so I'm very <laughs> confused. All right, so the way this is going to work, this is going to be fantastic. All right, so it's a two-part thing. The first part is Tay reading a sentence mm. in a Cockney accent, and then the second part is her translating it to normal American English. Okay. Okay. Then when she she does that, when she gives her explanation of what the sentence was, then it's Amos's job to either agree with her or give his best translation. Oh, I I, okay. I see what you did there. So <laughs> I I'm gonna get the sentence, and I don't read the first sentence. I read my translated one and see if he can get it. No 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 no. So you you read out loud in your Cockney <laughs> accent. <laughs> that, I, that I send you. So I just okay. sent you the first one. All right. So you're going to read this in your Cockney accent, and then you're going to tell me what you think it means. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> May I have a cup of rosy lee? <laughs> okay. And then for, for the... Uh, for the Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and paste this into the Twitch chat as well, so that they can kind of play along. Perfect. All right, so what she said in, um, in a normal American accent, she said, may I have a cup of Rosie Lee? Mm. So what did you just say, Tay? <sighs> this is uh, hard, man. You're requiring brain we, cells right now. I think because we talked about poop, my first instinct is, can you please pass me that laxative tea? I really <laughs> need it. <laughs> okay. Uh, how close did she get? Um, I think she nailed it, man. I think she, uh, <laughs> I think she was right on. I, I think I, I'm, I'm so convinced that if it's not right, they should redo it. They should just change it to be uh, a, a laxative tea. That's, that's where I'm going. Okay. It's, it's actually pretty close, pretty close. So Rosie Ooh. Lee does mean tea. So you could even say you could even say uh, may I may I have uh, may I have a Rosie and that would mean may I have a tea. 
So that was pretty good. I'm going to give that one to you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys, okay, uh, yeah. I mean, we just that. made it better because yeah, of, yeah. we made it laxative tea. I mean, right. if you're going to have more... tea, there's, now, now, now the tea has a purpose. That's what's going yeah. on here. Also, my legal initials are T-E-A, so that's something magical that happened. <laughs> <laughs> so your name is now Rosie. <laughs> All right, oh, there good. we go. Great. Another new name. No more tea. <laughs> now it's Rosie. <laughs> All right, so okay, here's, so here's number two. Quickly. So Tate is my fancy acting mm. name with, mm -hmm. like, my agent, just to explain all that shit because yeah. people were not as excited to hire a viral YouTube superstar as we thought they would be for their <laughs> films and movies when I cared about that. <laughs> <laughs> so Tate is the serious version. Mm. Okay, good. Now we've established that. We can keep going. All right, so I just sent you the second one. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and read number two. Perfect. Oi, but first you must put the kettle on the author. Hmm. Okay, so in in plain American English, that is I. But first you must put the kettle on the Arthur. Okay, first of all, I is not plain American English. So it's... Well, okay. I mean it all right, so it's yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but first you must put the If kettle we're gonna on use brain cells, you gotta use brain cells here too. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually part of the translation as well. I we're is, is part of the translation. You use brain cells too. That's right. funny. So what do you, so what what does that mean in in American English day? I but first you must put the kettle on the B Arthur. Golden Girls reference. Wow. Right? Oh, because she's hot. She's right? hot. Yeah, Indeed. that's what they're trying to say that they want a little of that B Arthur. Okay. <laughs> Amos, what do you think is is uh is that it? Is I it, mean, is right? I mean, I, 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 I don't know. The B. Arthur is uh, is the hottest of the Golden Girls, but I mean, they're all golden, so they're all hot. So it, it still makes sense. <laughs> all right. So, um, Arthur is actually short for Arthur Conan Doyle, which means boil. What wow. the heck? How am I supposed to know that, Ken? What <laughs> crazy name is this? Arthur Coyle and Boyle. See? We're not catching <laughs> spells. And, and this why this is why you have to watch Snatch like fifteen times. Okay. Touche. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's move on to number three. Okay. Um, Tay, I sent you number three. Let's uh, let's see how that one sounds. Okay. That holy you sent me had a nasty Billy Ray. Yeah, okay. First of all, I, want, I just want to say you're nailing the accent. Like you're nailing. Like it's it's, <laughs> it's coming. Good. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. You need to put this Thank in your you. demo reel. I'm so proud of myself right now. It's been 13 <laughs> years since my Cockney accent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Tay said that holy you sent me had a nasty Billy Ray. What does that mean? It has to be a peephole. A peephole. Okay, like in a door. Okay. The thing that this goes through in the bathrooms that I've heard about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I think that's a different. I don't think that's a peephole. Um, oh. I think that might be um, more of a glory variety. Uh, oh, that's oh yes, yes, yes. Wow, but okay. still that. Still, still that. that though. <laughs> um. I like I I've I've never been the one to shy away from a glory hole, so I, I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna have to agree. I'm gonna have to I, I say she's got it. She nailed it once again. Were you that guy in Nashville? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've, been, I've been through Memphis a few times, never through Nashville. <laughs> All right. All right. So holy is actually short for holy grail, which means email. And <sighs> Billy Ray is short for Billy Ray Cyrus, which means virus. So the sentence, the holy you sent me had a nasty Billy Ray, actually is that email you sent me had a nasty virus. I mean, you're, it's pretty <laughs> close. I mean, I've gotten plenty of emails with glory holes in them that might have been uh, infected with a virus. So I, I still think That's she's three for three. Tr oh, thank you, baby. See, we're killing it. As yeah. Wonder Mom, I agree 
Del Noche, where do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all wondering that. I Flores, did my research. Right. I am not making time? any of this up. <laughs> Anyone can Google this shit. Except for Tay and Amos. <laughs> Anyone else can Google this shit during the show and you can see I'm not making this shit up. Oh, sure. Sure, exclude us. I see how this is. This is not an inclusive podcast today. <laughs> All right, Tay, how about number four? Let's go to the battle cruiser for a cuff link. Hmm. Let's that go was to pirate. The I'm sorry, that was only cuff pirate. Cuff yeah, yeah. I, but, I mean... I. You still liked it. I mean, it wasn't bad. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the battle cruiser for our cuff link. There we go. So what does that mean? What is what is going to the battle cruiser for a cuff link? What would that entail? Battle cruiser rhymes with schmoozer. Cuff link rhymes with rink. Uh, it is talking about that new Tanya Hardy movie about the ice skater who punched a person. Because they are schmoozing the ice skating rink officials. Um, okay. Amos, Amos? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think I think I know what she's talking about, and I think the name of that movie is Rink Sink. Um, Ooh, oh, Rink Sink, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, the highly highly um, uh, critically acclaimed. Yes, movie. yeah. It, it, I, I mean. Depending on the critic, but yeah, I mean it's uh you know r- rink of course because of the location and sink being the uh, the long forgotten um, uh, WCW move where you actually punch somebody on their way down because they're already falling because it's an ice skating rink right so so if you punch them on the way down that's the sink I forget what wrestler was it that did that Ken I can't remember I, I'm pretty sure it was WCW or maybe AWE. Um, uh, that that must have been um, Ice Warrior. Ice Warrior. Sure. Might have been, might have been, might have been. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think that's what I think that's what this is referring to is the uh, the, the the soon to be cult classic rink sink. <laughs> All right. So actually, battle cruiser rhymes with boozer, okay, which well, is I mean, another name for a pub. Okay. Okay. And cufflink rhymes with drink. So let's go to the battle cruiser for a cufflink. Is let's go to the pub for a drink. Well, that's what she said right afterwards. I mean, this is like almost. Almost line for line. It's like you got an advanced copy of the script. It's pretty here. close. It's pretty close. I, w- I would say that's ninety five percent correct. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. I love you. Okay, so chat realm. Let's go to the battle cruiser for a cufflink. There you go. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Which uh, here in what three months we can probably do that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's called stuff. I'll, uh, I'll need my friends. Getting... All the hugs. Are... I'm looking forward are... to it, guys getting very close to south by southwest so that's amazing all right so more importantly we're getting very close to south by so wasted that's i mean let's just how cool is this on my facebook messenger where kent is sending me these after let's go to the battle cruiser for a cuff link it says start plan it interpreted the cockney (laughs) (laughs) oh my god like this is amazing i could like take a screen grab maybe (laughs) That Fabulous. is amazing. Yes, we do need to start our plan for for the going to the battle cruiser. Oh is, man, this is awesome. Okay, so we got number five. How many of these do you have, Kent? Uh, ten total. Ten total. So Holy we're shit. we're about halfway done. Ten total. Oh my goodness. Okay. I bought a new kangaroo for watching the KY. All right. So I bought a new kangaroo for watching the KY. What do you think? Okay. I mean, it makes sense the Don't way it is, the way it's written. I'm just animals. I'm just throwing that out there. It does make sense the way it's written. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, this is a dangerous one for bestiality. Uh, um, okay. Oh, I got it. I got it. Bought a new fire stick to watch the crocodile hunter um <laughs> okay. okay i i think she's a little bit off on this one okay um i, do. I, do. I can only think bestiality i'm sorry i i well she's only off by what she's watching because it's clearly she bought a new fire stick to watch the kentucky derby oh it's, 
Okay. Yeah. See, I, okay. it, it, it just, 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 I mean, just, just little left to center right there, you know? So, yes. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a hint. What? Okay. You both are in the same, in the, in the right ballpark for at least the second half of this. What okay. are you going to watch Crocodile Hunter and, um, uh, Whatever. What, what did you say, Amos? The Kentucky Derby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you going to watch those things on? Uh, like, like you're talking about like a, a television set? There you go. Okay. <laughs> is this All a right. trick question or is it TV? <laughs> All right, so KY, KY is short for KY Jelly, which rhymes with telly, which is what the Brits call television. Wow. All right. But do they call it then, KY Jelly? Like, is that, I mean, let's get to the real important things here. What do they call KY? Is it, do they have a special name for that? Or is... Well, KY rhymes with tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tie you up, mate. That's, I'm not going to tie you up, but I will use loop. That... <laughs> <laughs> Did Fair I enough. get it right? Oh, that has some merit, I think. <laughs> Thank you. And then Thank to you. finish this one out, kangaroo. Well, uh, okay, so kangaroo is actually short for kangaroo pouch, which rhymes with couch. So you bought a new couch to watch the TV. Oh. Um, I, I got to go with Tay on this one. I think you're wrong. <laughs> right. So Thank she, you. yeah. So she is correct, and the Cockneys are wrong. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> because, Kent, I have 13 years of Cockney experience, so who's right? I think she just, I think she just called you a cunt and then said that she has cock experience. I'm, look, I, I really need to clean my ears out before these shows. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to give this one to Tay, because I think, yeah, I think she's got this one. <laughs> right. You're perfect as you are. You don't need to clean out your ears. <laughs> All right, number six. Okay, cool. Sorry for the slight pause. I have to go back and forth between tabs. Okay, here's the sentence. You are in Barney Rubble. I mean, I think okay. this one's pretty easy. You are in so much freaking trouble, you little bitch. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. And, and I, th I think that's what a Barney is, is a little bitch. So it's kind of like one of those <laughs> Spanish things where the, the adjective goes in front of the noun, but I think she nailed it. Uh, yeah, that's actually um, hundred percent correct. See, Barney Rebel rhymes with trouble. Yeah, Barney Rebel. <laughs> Barney Rebel rhymes with trouble. You little bitch. That's exactly. Uh, that, yeah, nailed it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think word he or word. Also, by understanding the rhyming portion of this, <laughs> where for the first five that was not part of it. <laughs> I'm not even saying it can, but I I certainly didn't really understand it until that easy one right now. Okay, we're in business. Yeah, she started business. with the easiest one and then just kind of worked her way up. Uh, but what fun is that? All right, so how about number seven? Oh, God. Precursor before I say it. Hitler reference. Okay. We will have to share the pineapple tonight. Okay. We will have to share the pineapple tonight. Pineapple rhymes with nothing. Snapple. Wine See? snapple. It's that raffle. It, it's the uh, yeah. It's the new the new drink that Snapple is coming out with. It's wine snapple. It's actually uh, all your favorite flavors, but just slightly alcoholic with a little bit of sulfites in it to give you the the full hangover experience. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is now. <laughs> real you know how gullible i am <laughs> mb wants to know if it's a double-ended dildo reference uh i mean it can be it's whatever you whatever you put in your mind right okay i'm gonna go with pineapple rhymes with grapple and you grapple with hooks so <laughs> i'm gonna okay. say that this means this is a concubine cockney quote Ooh. and they are saying to each other that we will have to share the pirate tonight. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I, uh, like, she went way further down a road that I couldn't understand, so I'm going to have to go get with her because, like, she clearly understands this, and, and I'm, I'm <laughs> lost this time, so, yeah. I would yeah, not so, say well, clearly the, understands the, with anything that I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Tay was absolutely correct. The obviously incorrect answer that was in my notes was that 
Pineapple is short for pineapple chunk, which rhymes with bunk, as in bunk bed. Oh. So sharing the pineapple is sharing the bunk bed. That's, I mean, it's kind of the same thing, really. It's Pineapple yeah, yeah. does not it's... rhyme with pineapple chunk. So I'm confused again. <laughs> well, I that think was... if these copies there really knew, really wanted artist. a good language, they would come to me because if you listen to my songs, I am an expert rhymer. <laughs> <laughs> And I can help them. There we go. We we've just solved one of the world's greatest problems. All right. So oh, here's number here is number eight. Oh, my fireman's hose is all blocked up. Okay. If Amos's fire hose was all blocked up, what would that what would that indicate? I'm married. It's always blocked up. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I just want to call out right now, MB. Uh, who did it? Uh, Wonder Mom again for the Little Nicky reference. I love Little Nicky. That's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if everyone would have guessed that, but that's true. Okay. Um. So Amos, I mean, do you want to go first? You had a really strong reaction to this one. <laughs> uh, just to change it up. <laughs> I'm just gonna say my 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 fucking nose is all blocked up. Oh, that's okay. I can't tell Alan this because I think that's right. <laughs> and when I speak truth, I support it. <laughs> I'm going right, yeah, that, that one was super easy. Fireman's hose is nose. So ding, 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 100% correct. Uh, ah, yeah. see, it's no fun oh. when I go first. The first time <laughs> correct. All right, let's move, on. Going first. let's move on to number nine. Okay. <clears throat> Watch my point. I'm desperate for a gypsy. Uh, that's just that, that. It just means what it means. Like, watch my beer. I'm going to go get laid. Like, it's. <laughs> oh, feel like an actual gypsy. Yeah. Okay, okay so it's it not make perfect sense, at all. And this I think is just all of us should forward. make this our Facebook status or our Twitter of anything. <laughs> watch my point. I'm desperate for a gypsy. We all need to copy and paste that <laughs> watching this and tag each other. So that that needs to be a thing. We need to make this like mini viral on Twitter. Um, if mine works. Um, but to be contrary and to go with this stupid ass rhyming scheme that I was told is part of this, I am not going to accept Amos's answer. And I'm going to say I think it means pint rhymes with giant sort of <laughs> and gypsy rhymes with gypsy, lipsy. <laughs> Whips. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that this means <laughs> um watch my giant dog. No, watch my giant horse. I need to go get a whip. <laughs> I I mean she went left field there, but uh she might have got it. What's what's what is it, Kent? Let's see. So this is another one you guys are gonna be mad about. Gypsy is short for gypsy kiss, which rhymes <laughs> with piss. So if you're desperate for a piss, that means I need to use the restroom. So not whipping horses then. <laughs> well, I mean it could be, but in this in in the case of the the Cockney translator that I consulted. <laughs> 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 Which is super cute. It's super cute that you spent time with the cocky translator. I love it. <laughs> okay, so you, all you, right. We've got we've got you, one, one final more, right? one left. Okay. okay. And this one right, this one this. isn't um I wouldn't say it's easy, but it is a little more straightforward than the gypsy one. Oh, I don't want this to end. I'm literally having so much fun with you guys. All right, Amos, we gotta do real good on this one. <sighs> what do you think of the baked beans? This is straightforward. Bean rhymes with spleen. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to do it in the Cockney accent first. Oh, oh gosh, you're right. I'm so sorry. What do you think of the baked bean? Amos, what okay. do you think of the baked bean? I mean, I like baked beans. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that can't be what this is, though. Like, what do you think of the... Is it like a baked bean pie? What do you think of the lie? What do you... I, like, I'm... I, <laughs> Um, I think that's it. I think we have to go with that because it has to be baked bean 
mean and then another word that should not go after it and then you have to rhyme with that word somehow right magic. right that's like other other than that it's either like what do you think of the cornbread like i i don't know <laughs> All right, all right. So, all right. To, to give you guys a clue, though, this one, the rhyming word is present in this one. Okay. I did like what you think of the cornbread, though, too. Okay. Uh, I'm hungry, though. I haven't had dinner. So. W. Scottis one thinks that it's exactly as written, that it's not slang at all. <gasps> I've got it. What do you think of the baked queen? What do you think of the baked queen, the queen of England who's high as a kite? What do you think of her? Oh, my gosh. That's like, it. Nailed it, and and it's perfect for this little swap a word thing because you don't want to speak ill of the queen out in 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 public, right? So like, right. I I think she's Poppy I think she's Flynn. in there, okay, in, in like Flynn. Baked bean does in fact mean queen. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! Are you serious? Are you just telling me that? Uh no, I'm serious. Yes, baked bean is queen. This is the best moment Nailed of my it. life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Tay, I believe you got ten out of ten. Um, that that that's got to be like at least the eighty percent, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ten, 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 which is eighty <laughs> percent. That counts Ouch. as a pass in my book. <laughs> oh my! Don't make me feel so good about myself. I love you. Oh man. <laughs> Um, so, uh, is, is it time I push the next button, Kent? Yeah, yeah, why don't you push a button? Oh, oh, uh, well, I, I, see, what happened, what happened, what, <laughs> what had happened was, I had told Craig and them. <laughs> All right, Amos, you decided this week on Morgana Bailey. The danger of hiding who you are. Tell us a little bit about this and why you chose it. Okay, so uh, did either of you watch this, first of all? I did. Okay. I okay. have thoughts about hiding who you are. Okay. Well, see, that's why I that is why I, I chose this because the danger of hiding who you are seemed like something we could have a really good conversation with Tay about, about how she's kind of like She's she's open to that more awkward side of you, the, the part that a lot of people don't let out. And Kent, me and you have talked several times how we try to be as real as we can be on the show, but there's always that level of of showmanship that's there that's not quite who we are, but we're like still 95% of us. Mm. But it, what it came out to is this lady came out as gay on stage, and I was just utterly fucking disappointed. And I'm not saying anything about bad about people that want to come out. I just went into it with an expectation of like, you know, being who you are. And it was just about her yeah. being gay. And I, I was just, I, I was, I was, I was saddened by it. Um, It was about quite a bit more than just the fact that she was gay though. Uh, That's what I got out of it. You got it's out of self-serving uh, to you got out um, of the 15 minute talk that, that she's gay and nothing else. No, 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 no. I got out of it that she had, like the part of her that she wanted to reveal and the, the, the danger of being who she was and how it can affect a lot of people. It centered on the fact that she was hiding the fact that she was gay. And it kind of, yeah. it, 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 that held more weight in the talk than I was hoping to be more about, you know, being a, a genuine person to who you are as opposed yeah. to just that one aspect of it. And in fact, even even after she came out, I expected her to say See. more about it other than just the fact that this one story, and it, just, it was just a letdown. I, okay, so, uh, all right. So, to me, the, the talk was about uh, basically celebrating diversity and individuality to the benefit of not just yourself, but to society at large. Okay. Because of... Uh, discriminatory policies and and um, just uh, you know just general social discrimination. If you let other people know that you are like this, in this case, gay, it allows for other people to, I guess, have that like, oh, okay, I'm not alone. I can, I, I'm more likely to be myself because I know that I am not just a weirdo who's the only person like this. See this. Uh, this it, is it, uh, 
This is why we. This is why we both watch them because we got something completely different out of the same talk. <laughs> well, I think the the I mean the stated like thesis of the talk is about exactly what I just said. Because she she dealt with discrimination coming from rural what is it Oklahoma or Kansas or something like that Kansas I think yeah yeah just some some Midwest rural area where coming out as gay was like the most terrifying thing imaginable because it was a super conservative community et cetera et cetera where when she started to work for other companies and whatnot she saw that she was still uh, keeping that to herself, even though that they had policies that embraced, uh, you know, diversity, um, uh, you know, r- race, uh, sex, sexuality, et cetera. Uh, but she still kept it to herself because she was afraid where if she had uh, basically outed herself or or proclaimed her sexuality, uh, people that already knew her and respected her would be more likely to accept other gay people. Yeah. And that was kind of, uh, yeah, you got more out of it than I did. Yeah. Well, the anecdote that she gave about her friend whose father was in the state legislature voted in favor of one of those stupid ass religious freedom laws that right. basically just allows businesses to discriminate against gays. Mm, her friend's well, father that... voted in favor of that, where if she had come out as gay, she might have influenced it. Right, she might have influ- – oh, okay, gays aren't actually these evil trolls or whatever that I, you know, that I heard stories about when I was a child. Um, you know, it, it could have influenced that vote and actually made her state not adopt that stupid fucking archaic law. And that was kind of the – that was very supportive of the thesis of the entire talk. So you go into these things reading the thesis. I just read the title and went <laughs> with it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Dave, what do you have to say about this uh, this whole uh, 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 this whole thing that uh, you know Ken just described to you way better than I could have because apparently I didn't watch the video as well as I should have. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's beautiful, Kent. Honestly, just being really vulnerable right now, I have always had um, like a comfort and joy and beauty in the awkwardness. Like it's how I made friends and I thought it was like so important to showcase like that beautiful part of our lives and like that fun and that joy and that like being awkward like brings humanity together because it's stuff we all have in common but you know we've been scared to show and it it makes people laugh and like there's nothing like bonding over awkwardness like you know the poop that we talked about (laughs) (laughs) but I, I will say um honestly like especially with like this last year and a half, like focusing more on that relationship and trying to figure out what I want to do next. I felt scared to um, be like a little more serious and more authentic. I was like worried that I was like, how do I be awkward and fun? And, and I love that. And like that be that message, but um, also kind of go through some life things too. And like, will people stay with me through that? And um, do people care? You know, uh, I think it's a hard thing. And, and this isn't saying anything about like my friends, family or fans, because like they're the best, like taters are the best. But it's more just like, I think is like, we all have things that we feel really comfortable about, but then there are parts of ourselves, And for me, like it's the more like serious side or the side that like faces like normal life issues where I wasn't sure like if I could be that person and if anyone would care. And I felt bad. Like I felt like I had to hide a little bit cause I didn't have anything like really exciting to show because like I went through just like a ton of personal growth, honestly. And even now I feel like this is boring me talking about this, you know? <laughs> um, so I don't know. I mean, I think, I think just like deep down, like we're all love beings and society puts so much on top of us. Like, you have to get up three hours earlier than the competition. You have to work harder, fe- better, faster, stronger. Like you need to do all this. This is how you get a girl. Like we have so many Buzzfeed articles and stuff in our newsfeed. That's just like clogging up um, and making our thoughts manic when deep down, like we're love beings. 
We all want to be kind. We all want to be taken care of. We all want to be part of a community. It's what I think is so beautiful about the internet. It's what's so beautiful about being on the show right now and about you guys. Like, it's a loving community. Even though there's a ton of sarcasm and jokes, like, the heart is there. Um, and I think if people focused on that more, then, like, people would feel more confident being themselves, the good and the bad, or the good and the sad. And see, this is where I call it a win, even if I only half ass watched the video and totally misinterpreted everything that was involved <laughs> with it, because, well, we got something genuine out of Tay. And uh, that's yeah. always a win. No, that, that's awesome. I, I love everything that you just said, Tay. And I think that's kind of been the theme of this show. Like for the last few years, Amos, where we, like, that's what we want. We want to promote a, an environment of, of love. Like, you know, just like you said, Tay, we, we talk a lot of shit. We, we are sarcastic all the time, but this is, this is what we want. We want to promote acceptance and love and, um, you know, just we're all a big, happy family. And that's, that's the way it should be. Yeah. So that's, that's, yeah. I love what you just said. It's beautiful. Celebrate all things geek, even uh, even though we don't we don't necessarily define what what the geek is because everybody has a different geek. Exactly. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's so awesome, and, I, and I'll, I've said this to you guys before. Um, I can like you know love like being funny and awkward and saying that stuff, and that that's like I love that. Like it like lights me up. But I always feel the most comfortable on this show, and the, and like also you know, on night attack too, like in the chat room community, it's where I just like feel comfortable and not like the crazy pressure. Mm -hmm. And that is so huge. It's so rare to find in entertainment. And it's why like, I've loved this community so much and like wanted to get so involved. Um, so yeah, just thank you for that. We know that feeling. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, so it is, it is that time where we don't necessarily have to, uh, to, you don't, you don't, you don't have to go home, but, uh, we can't, uh, we can't just keep recording forever. So Tay, where can no! people fi find more of, more of your stuff and more about you and find out what you're doing next, uh, besides YOLO420.com slash incest, because that's <laughs> like, everybody has to see that. That's, that's there. So funny. Yeah. So that movie will be coming out. Follow that. That's going to be fun. Um, as everyone knows, after this episode, like I am in transition, I'm trying to figure out what the next stage of my life is going to be after sort of this upheaval. Um, but I'm excited. I am producing serious harp and yet evanescence music that will probably come out this year. And I also have one more Tay Allen song. I, I, can, like, just, I can just see it. Bring me to la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! It will be weird. It doesn't be. It will be weird. <laughs> but I think it's beautiful. I think you guys will like it. I hope you guys like it. And then I do have another talent song. Do you guys want to know the title? Uh, of course. Wait. I mean, how about how about we, let's let's make it a game. Let's let's uh. How about we charade the title? Okay. So so act out the title. This is gonna. This is going to be great okay, okay. for our audio listeners. Well, only if we're descriptive. Uh, so she's holding three fingers up, so we got three words. Okay, three words. Okay, yep, three words. Uh, first word. Okay, one, first word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, uh, this distraught. <laughs> uh, scared, yeah, I was going to uh, say, like, scared, upset. Um, uh, confused. Confused. Uh, 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 Sign language. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Keller. It's Helen Keller. Uh, you, you, me, me, uh, I, uh, um, uh, I die, death, uh, killed over, roadkill, uh, uh, antler, uh, 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 crown, um, uh, hat, uh, Come on, Kent. Like anything here, dude. Like you're just staring. Well, <laughs> as Skype would have it, as the Skype demons would have it, my video feed from Skype has frozen. <laughs> so, so you're, you're, you're not. Skype, for that? Skype said you're not in this round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but it, from the sounds of it, I could just start shouting random <laughs> shit and be doing just as well as you are. <laughs> Oh, cheeseburger. God, this is amazing. <laughs> this, this clip is what's going everywhere. Okay, 
We're still in the we're still in the first word. Can I give a hint? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I am bad at this and Ken can't see shit. <laughs> yeah. I am the queen of Queen of Awk. Queen Queen That so, word is Awkward. Queen so of Awkward. The... What's that word? Or you're the baked bean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, I, I said that, but uh, Skype Skype must have muted you out or muted muted me out. I guess I guess oh, it's okay. muted me okay, out. Okay, you got that. Okay, it gets easier from here. Okay, that was the first word. Are we are we ready? All right. No, awkward. no, now that totally makes sense. Now the I am the queen of awkward. Like no, I that. Right. So I got yeah. All right, I've okay. got video back. It's a little choppy, but I do have video. So okay. all right. So the second word. <laughs> Mike Beam says the baked bean of awkward. <laughs> Well, now that has to be the album name. The album name has to be I'm the Baked Bean of Hawk. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. So second word, second word. Drive. Drive. Uh, Car. Um, uh, milking a cow. Okay. <laughs> no, you got it. Car. Okay, car. Okay. okay. Awkward car. Awkward. Okay, okay. Dance, uh, rodeo, uh, what, uh, in, uh, I want to say like, uh, what is Indian? What, what's that little dance? That little, uh, Kimosabe, Kimosabe, jump on it. <laughs> Lasso. Uh, uh, like, Kent's going to start getting flustered here soon. Uh, <laughs> horse? Horse. Um, oh. wait, it's, horse. it's. Horseback riding, rodeo, uh, horse race. You said the word. Oh, horse rodeo. <laughs> Horsey. The only oh. other word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ken, I think you're wrong, man. Audio listeners are gonna love this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say it? Yeah, go, you, just give it to us because we're clearly too stupid for this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. What do we got? What about chat realm? Chat realm, can you go? Awkward on, car guys. race. It's uh, awkward what carpool karaoke. It said awkward car race. No, so close. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the chat. Awkward car race. Awkward carpool karaoke, horse riding, awkward horse riding, awkward car horse ride, awkward horse, awkward car horse, awkward awkward car riding. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh, an awkward car ride. Awkward car ride. There, see, there we go. Like Ken was on it. His his uh, his Skype must have muted him out. He must have. It must have been Skype lag or something. Like it was, yeah. it was there. So, so Mbeam says, Queen Awkward Horse Bean Flipping. <laughs> so, that's, her, like that's, that's her rodeo clown name. That's <laughs> oh, my God. This is amazing. So this is how I'm going to announce the new single's title. I'm going to take this clip. <laughs> we'll post it everywhere. Actually, can you guys cut this clip out for me and to me oh, no, of, course. To. of course of course of course oh oh my gosh so so awkward awkward car ride okay <laughs> i love it <laughs> awkward car ride. that was a, yeah Cruz said that was a struggle yeah it, yeah oh my god uh, multiple... that was really bad awkward car horse awkward <laughs> car horse riding <laughs> Um, I'm 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 on painkillers. I, I that's, uh, that's I, I'm I'm not, but I I will be immediately after this. Does that count? Um, wait, guys, I have something kind of fun. Uh -oh. so I'm going to be on painkillers next week because I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed. Should we do? It can be like an extra for the Patreon. Should we do like a little filmed chat on painkillers? Not um, like I promote drug use. Uh, but no, no. Uh, you can promote drug use. Just promote it in a a uh, a controlled and safe environment, under a doctor's supervision. Right, yeah. right. 
or in California. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, the answer to your question is yes, of course, this needs to happen. Yeah, that's 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 guaranteed. Um, did, did you just get a guest? Yes. So this is the fabulous TK Bishop, and she is a tech entrepreneur and a queen of the startup scene. Okay, that's you. So you get hello. She's a baked bean of the startup scene. Baked bean of the baked bean of the startup scene. There we go. Hello. How are you? Oh my gosh! Like, uh, welcome to Tay's place, uh, the the yearly podcast where we talk to Tay and. uh, well, I mean, something awkward has to happen every time. Last time you were uh, recording in a bathroom, so we heard you three yeah. times every time you yeah, said a word. Like, yeah, that was like two or three shows ago. What was but, it? Uh, I don't yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, the poop theme continues. <laughs> this is my bestie. Isn't she gorgeous and fabulous? Heck yes. All right. And if, for, all the, for all the audio listeners, if you would follow us on twitch.tv slash ritual misery, you'd be able to see beautiful things like we are seeing right now. Oh, so kind. <laughs> uh, hey, Amos, so why don't you say, why don't you say we men. wrap this? These are my men. Hi, men. Oh. <laughs> all the men. Hello. Oh. So, Amos, I say we wrap the main portion of the show up, and then we can roll into post show, and then we can goof around and uh, sure, whatever. We can hang out for quite a while and make that a patron exclusive. Actually, I uh, I feel like I have to talk like this now because she's mentioned that there are men on the podcast. Oh, oh um, I <laughs> must have that memo. Uh, but now Arr. the men have arrived. Yes, yes, no longer boys. We are uh, we are now men. <laughs> Uh, and we will close the show by saying, Kent, how can people find you on uh, on the social medias? If you would like to follow me, you can go to twitter.com you, and look you, up. You just RM turned into Scooby-Doo, Doo, man. You, you, just, you just went totally Scooby. You're like, if you would like to follow me. <laughs> uh, yes. RM underscore Del Noche on Twitter. I'm Del Noche just about everywhere else. Check me out on Untapped if you're a beer guy. Amos, what about you? I am Ethan Kane on the Twitter. Ethan Kane is my man name, not my uh, not my Amos child uh, 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 sub name. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E, and you can follow the show at Ritual Misery, and you can cruise on over to RitualMisery.com for all kinds of cool shit we're doing, like Let's Talk About Thrones, my show with Richard Gunther and Jenny Josephson where we talk about the wonderful show Game of Thrones. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that's 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 what we do. Um and you can what find men. Can... Oh my god, what men. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you can find all that and everything else at ritualmisery.com. And uh, thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music um, and for coming on the show and talking about your music and shit like that. Uh, Got to make sure my little thing's up over there. Um, thank you for listening and or watching for Kent, for Tay, for for all the Tays out there. And uh, for, uh, this, has been, this has been your Ritual Misery podcast. <laughs> See ya. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> and that's how we do a show. That's that's uh wait. <clears throat> Aw, that was how, awesome, guys. That's how we close the show. <laughs> that was amazing. Was that was even voice. more awkward than I predicted it was gonna be. I, I that was fantastic. I suddenly felt like uh like uh, Bob uh on the Bob and Tom and show. Is it Bob or is it Tom that I uh that has the really deep voice that comes in and uh does the little narratives in a uh, little bit of voice like that. That sounds more like Chick McGee. Uh it could be. I don't it could be in like could what's happened to do the cockney. You're just really <laughs> trying to get uh-huh. your lips forward so you can be a girl pirate. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>